I never had family. A couple of times I've tried to reach out. Uh, my hands got burned, so ain't trying again. Burn me twice, we good. Uh, thing about me, y'all, is uh, if I love you, um, you can hurt me a million times. You can hurt me a million more. You can walk on me. You can stomp on me. Whatever you need to do. But you will not break my heart. And uh, to break my heart, you only get a chance to do that once. Life is too short. So, uh, goodbye to that side of my family. But I mentioned that because to me that was confirmation of what God was, had told me that God was speaking to me. It was something that I didn't know, something that I had to confirm else was. Um, but, uh, so for a long time I was mad at my father because I had tried to get him to respect me. I had idolized him. I put him up on a pedestal like, like I think you're supposed to. And then that was, uh, that was when I communicated with God some more. And that was when it was understood to me that it had been withheld from me. God had made sure that I didn't know until 10 years after my dad had died and I had spread his ashes. It was like the next month. Uh, I cried like a little girl. No offense to him. Uh, when I let his ashes go. And damn right. And I'm glad I did. And that's what you're supposed to do. And uh, let him go in three different places. Crow Creek Line, uh, Arctic Valley, and uh, 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 no, not, uh, not uh, Beluga Point. There you go. Beluga Point, Crow Creek Line, and, uh, and Arctic Valley. In some beautiful spots. And his ashes flew back on him. It was a pretty country sun playing and all that. But, uh, then it was revealed to me that my father had tried to end me. I was mad at him for a while. The reason I'm not mad at him, the reason why I've forgiven him, and the reason why he has a place of respect on my altar is so. Uh, you see, nobody would, would ever ask to be shackled to the person that wants to kill them and to love that individual and to put them on a pedestal and to want nothing more than their respect and admiration. Nobody would ever ask for that. And uh, nobody would ever ask to, and I always say this, I don't do it to ego myself. It's not like that. It's just to paint the picture. Nobody would ask to be like, like Samson with this rock, this immovable rock, this boulder, pushing up an unsurmountable mountain. And that was me trying to earn my father's love, respect, and appreciation. And that was never possible. It is beautiful because he had mine and I did everything I could to earn his. And that's what she's supposed to do. I treated my father the way I was supposed to. And I honored, respected, and loved him. And just like I forgive him now. Just like I respect him now. Okay? But the reason I respect him now is different. And that is because having the weight of an immovable boulder and an unsurmountable mountain is what made me. Is what made me be me. Is what gave me the life experiences, the choices, the voice that I have, the everything. My father done a good job. 